the partnership between South Africa and Europe in the field of science and technology is over 20 years old. The first cooperation agreements were signed in 1996, giving rise to more than 20 years of success and innovation for both partners. We use science, technology and innovation to grow the economy, to address inequality and unemployment. And therefore, we see the partnership as the vehicle that allows us in the research area and in the science and technology area to address those problems. The partnership with South Africa is unique because South Africa is unique. South Africa has huge impact on what happens not only in, in Southern Africa, uh, but also huge impact actually what happens on, uh, on the continent itself. And then if we take this to the science agenda, a lot of that is also global issues we try to address uh, at the European Union in multilateral fora. And there it's great to have a partner uh, like South Africa so firmly on board with us. Like other non-European countries, South Africa participates in Horizon 2020, the European Union Framework Programme for Research and Innovation. Successive ESA-STAP projects have also strengthened collaboration between scientists from Europe and South Africa. But the success can also be demonstrated by the range of activities that uh, we have in the partnership. From the most cutting-edge science to the most applied uh, society-based research. The whole range is there, and I think that is also what makes this cooperation so precious. A good example is the Safe Water Africa project in the suburbs of Johannesburg. It was launched in 2016 and is now in the testing phase. Morning, Zach. Morning, Mark. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm good, thanks. Good, good. How's the quality looking today? The quality today looks quite normal. Currently in African countries, um, the infrastructure is just not there to, to produce the um, drinking quality water um, that people desperately need. The goal of the uh, Safe Water Africa project is to utilize the technology that uh, we've received from the European partners um, to then produce the drinking quality water. Um, so that being that we use river water or water from a, a particular source, the idea behind the project is that uh, we then use a package plant to then be installed in rural communities that would provide the potable water for communities of about 300 people. This Made in Africa treatment system can produce up to 10,000 litres of drinking water per day without the addition of chemicals. And the goal is that it will be managed independently by the communities themselves. <laughs> Another project with different objectives. Supported by the EU and other international partners, South Africa, together with Australia, will host one of the most ambitious scientific projects of our age, the SKA, or Square Kilometre Array. The construction in the two countries of the largest and most sensitive radio telescope in the world. An extraordinary technological challenge. We're going to be going back um, just after 13.8 billion years, just after the Big Bang. And we're going to start trying to understand the, the formation of the universe, um, the evolution of the universe through time. And we're even going to look for whether there's life out there. We've got um, enormous amounts of data that we're going to be generating from this radio telescope. They're talking in the magnitude of 600 petabytes per day. We need to have the sort of the high-speed data networks in the world to be able to receive this data. And then we've got two massive supercomputers. They're going to be the world's largest supercomputers that actually uh, correlate and, and process the data. Based on an existing South African program, construction will begin in 2020 for completion seven years later. South Africa is extremely grateful for this partnership. We get huge scientific returns and huge economic returns. Uh, and then we, we get something which sometimes in the partnership is never mentioned, uh, which is the relationships that you build both the scientists to scientists, but also as policy makers with our counterparts in Europe. South Africa has put science at the heart of its development, social and economic development policy. And I think that the future is that uh, South Africa helps Africa to follow that strategic direction. And we are very keen to work closely with South Africa and the rest of the continent to ensure that science really drives the sustainable development agenda.